Alright, this is how to disassemb disassemble a, uh, a connector for an uh, 3800 supercharged. Uh, this is an L67 harness off a 99 Regal GS. Uh, I've already taken it apart once, the, one of the connectors to pull a circuit out of it. Uh, this is the blue connector. This is the clear connector. We're going to take the clear connector apart. But first, let me show you something on the blue connector that I've already taken off the clear connector. And I, You can put one back on. I don't intend to. Don't forget these. Always replace them. Okay. On the blue connector. Do you see the little lock ring in there? See it right there? You are going to have to remove that with some dikes, some creative work with some picks, what have you. Okay. But, not today. Today we're going to mess with the easy one that I've already done. I've already got it off. Push it through. Bolt. Alright, back here. You're going to tab up here, tab up here. Got another one right here. Got another one right here locking in. Another one right here, which is actually broken on this. Another one right here, and pretty sure there's one right in there. You can pull, you can loosen that one up by sticking a tiny screwdriver in there. Okay, you're just gonna squeeze. Well, mine's pretty loose, it's been done before. Release and get off, okay. Don't even try to mess with anything back here. Those do not come out from the back. They go out from the front. They have a little lip on them. Uh, next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull the clear cover off. Now, if you can see that right there. Let me zoom in. Not that freaking iPhone, man. I'm telling you. Alright. Uh, Alright. That little catch right there. You're just gonna push that in. I don't like to pick just because it can dig into the plastic. But use what you got. It's one on both sides. look at the pins and how they stay in there just a little piece of plastic keep them locked in okay I'm gonna remove I don't know what circuit it is this green one right here probably Pull this white, this white part out of this aluminum casing, or galvanized, or whatever it is. You see the white tab. It's another white tab right there. White tab there. White tab right there. You just want to squeeze these together while you're pushing forward or pulling out on this. Just be careful. Pull on, don't pull on the pins. Then get them all wacky. Uh, you really need to cut all this tape off before you do this. I only needed to get to this one side, so now we're just going to open up this one side. You don't have to do it all if you don't want to. Squeeze and push. Squeeze and push. Pull it right out. Now, this is where it's going to get goofy. It's going to get goofy because we're only going to pull one side. Okay. So we've got that out. And then make sure. 
sure wires are fairly straight. They're just going to pull it down. Don't force it. Just kind of push it down. Now, we're going to pull this wire out. You got your rubber in there. If you're going to add a circuit, the hardest, the biggest deal about these, especially if you're adding a circuit, man, these things bug the crap out of me. I can't ever get this thing to pierce right to get that little bubble out of there just enough. It just annoys me. Anyway, lift up on the tab. Okay, lift up on the tab and push then. See the tab right there? The pin, the terminal, this is where the tab locks it in. The la put it in, latch it, just push it until it latches. Don't forget to run this back up, otherwise, it'll turn sideways and get in the middle of the, on the other side of the aluminum housing. And in general, just be a pain. These things will bunch up a little bit. All right. Click. Lock it in place. Make sure they're all locked down. Stick the clear ones back over. Don't forget your rubber. That's it. PCM connector for a 3800 or most of the GM GM computers. 0411, LS1. That's pretty much it. Alright, see if we can get some more.